So here we have, I'm, I'm kind of kind of showing you um, what I'm talking about with recovering a little bit low. So look at my lower hand, see how I'm recovering above my Five. leg, yeah. right? I mean like on the boat we have to we, clear, yeah. we have to clear over the water, we have to clear over the gunnel. The gunnel. And that's going to naturally lend me to, like you want to set up bigger and higher so that when you get into your catch, you're putting your weight on it. Uh, I think that was what I was trying to, I think I was trying to kind of talk to you about that. I couldn't pinpoint it until we were looking at this video of like, oh, your arms need to get into place before your body because on your left side, it looked like you were, like your body mechanics of sitting up was, was definitely there now, but like your catch, so you can see, right? Your arms, um, I guess your arms are in place here, but it starts like pretty low. So you can see like the difference between yours and mine, mm. right? See how I'm setting up. It's almost like this would be kind of similar to you're trying to set in the water already and you yeah. want to set. So you need to keep that body, your body a little bit higher. Okay. See how my hand is more straight than at an angle. Yes. And it's aimed like yeah. just above the bar. Yeah. So you don't. Like you never want to be in a position where your lower heart arms like aimed up here. <laughs> right. But you do want to to be. Yeah, yeah. that helps to see because mine's kind of angling. This yeah, and way. then you can see like you're recovering really low, so you're naturally your body's like constantly kind of dragging across mm. this way versus getting big and then bam down and back again. Okay. Uh, definitely, I I, th I mean I know we didn't record your other side, but um, your other side looked a little bit more fluid and natural okay. that way. Um, so yeah, this portion, once you get into the pool, um, you're definitely sitting up a little bit better. But I think the other thing, um, we can take a video of your other side too. So you'll, you'll notice like, Uh, no, I think that's, I think that's pretty decent. It's still coming back a little far, huh? Yeah. yeah. Right there. And I think it's like the timing of... So you want to keep your blade like kind of planted and downward and like your arms, your... So look at my arm positioning as I'm going through this portion. Like I try to keep my blade at like this negative 45. No like as long as possible, right, through here. So when I get to my knee, like I'm, my angle is not too negative, right? If we don't sit up early, I would say you try to sit up a little bit earlier, even, because what's gonna help, what's gonna help keep your blade from getting to negative is if you actually sit up. If you, um, right, if we compare this, this angle that you have, like way in front of your knee is already equal to this. Yeah. Right. And you're already sitting up back there where I'm still up here. Yeah, I'm, I'm already trying to like leverage it upwards yeah. this way. So you want to be, like I talked about, plant and you got to make sure you're starting to sit up because that's the only way you're going to save your blade angle. Okay. So if, I, if, if we start untwisting and not sitting up at the front. I guess you'll be coming back there, right? Because yeah. right now, immediately, you're already losing angle, right? Yeah. So at the front of my stroke, when I get planted in mm. here, mm. right? <clears throat> like, you have that positive angle, but you're not caught in yet, right? This is still kind of, still not quite fully in. In the water, yeah. Um, getting there. So, question for you on that right there so okay to maybe or so the, let me rephrase my question would it, it to fix that is it a little more twist or bringing this hand a little bit more towards me to push that angle to get that angle out well see right here is good i think um all through here is is decent um This portion is actually kind of, um, is pretty okay. 
I think the biggest difference is as soon as we hit. Well, let me let me draw some um, additional lines. Here, let me restart this. So this is another thing I, I like to look at in terms of um, how I'm positioning my blade. So if we were really to use the top of the handle as the pivot point, mm -hmm. there should there like the the blade should not cross over a previous line. So if this is always the pivot point, um, so even on uh, me on this side, like I have a very slight push here that I I should try to tr get rid of. Um, so I'm gonna actually start it at here. See, I'm thinking that sometimes I feel that I'm compensating. The reason why I'm bringing my elbow up a little bit is because I'm trying to play with what that distance should be from my face to get that right angle with my top hand. Uh -huh. So I'm wondering if maybe that's just because I need a little bit more twisting maybe? I think your twist is um, pretty decent. I mean, there could maybe be just a hair more, like, like amount of shoulder that's showing to the camera here versus yeah. here. Could be a, just a little bit more. It's not. Uh, it's not too bad though. Um, I'm trying to pick a, a reference point that we're both similar. So like, if I pick here, and so like by the time your elbow gets set into place, like the angle is pretty comparable. All right. So let me start here. So both of us cross a little bit here, um, and that's something I would work on as well. But you want to try to make sure that this top hand doesn't like cross too much over here, because okay. right here between these two points, the pivot point was here. Okay. You want it that pivot oh, that's point. What you're trying to keep pivot point there. should be yeah. as high as possible. Okay. So I think most of these, um, these angles don't look too bad yet. The biggest differentiator happens a little bit later, I would say. Um, the thing I'm gonna start watching, I like to start releasing about here, right? Which is right about the knee, thigh. Well, so I know we're pulling at slightly different speeds. So I'm trying to pick points where the top hand like lines up. Um, right behind the previous line. Um, let me unlock this. So let me just finish up these over on this side, which, <laughs> sorry, this video is kind of dragging on, but. So I think like probably probably somewhere right around here. I'm actually going to take away that last line. Um, like right around here, you're starting to relax a little bit more, but you still have a very slight pull even when the blade is maybe here. I think you relax right around there. though. So I'm not going to count that one against. <clears throat> but you can see like even as I start my recovery, my blade never gets... Um, quite so horizontal. So yeah. like, right here, I'm starting to slice out, and it's it's still at like it's this an angle, this angle, yeah, right? Where I'm kind of pretty much parallel over here. And 
the angling, well, let's, let's, just for the sake of having some kind of reference point. Because I think here it looks okay if we were to compare it to, um, so this angle that you, that I'm looking at right now is just in front of, oops, in front of your knee. So if I were to pick a similar point, maybe this one. Yeah. About the same distance in front of the knee. Okay, so if we compare those two angles. So this line, so if I draw a line kind of like this, right, angle is like 40 some degrees. If we do a similar line here, right, so you have a little bit more, um, and I think that, again, yeah, like has to do degrees. with, yeah. so you're, uh, the thing is, I think you are, um, you are sitting up, maybe let's look at, um, I think maybe just trying to sit up a little bit sooner. So like if we look at relatively, the thing is I, so I'm like thinking out loud for a lot of this. Okay, so right now, if you're wondering what I'm looking at, I'm trying to look at like, what is the furthest point? Let me just, let's add another line. Okay, so let's connect the ear to the hip at the front when we're into the meat of things. And look at when does that ear start trailing back, yeah. considerably back. Because you're coming back where I'm not really coming back that much. So when I get to this point of where we're looking at like this knee comparison, um, no, we're about the same. Hmm. So how am I getting that? How am I getting so parallel down there? Just well, your top arm is a lot low. Is so uh, it's yeah. Look at that gap. Your, yours already below your knee. Yeah. So you're maybe you're overplaying your down top arm pressure a little bit too much and I mean it might be because that's what you were used to when you were doing this yeah so you need to start balancing that out by pulling a little bit harder okay. and not push so hard that the top hand because um, yes. when yeah if your top hand ends up down here that's also gonna affect your your um, paddle angle okay that makes sense um, so try to balance that a little bit more okay. maybe okay um, because that seems to be what's affecting uh, maybe how this is playing out. So, See right there. See, I've been I've been just looking at that gap between my top hand and yours. Yeah. Uh, and I'm like, you just have like a good 10, 15 degrees here where I'm like down here. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um. Well, yeah. Sometimes it takes me quite a while to to look at this. So you'll have, I mean, you'll have all these lines to look at on the video as well. Yeah. No. This kind is. Of, Pick apart. <clears throat> Very helpful too. It helps me understand it. <laughs> okay. Uh, cool.